Just the energy vibration reading for the Leo Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, you Leos. Okay, this year, let's see what's happening for the Leos in this year because um, it is that you guys are carrying your energy, the energy vibration of the year, which is very wonderful, very positive. Um, you have begin with the year of. Uh, um, the magician and this is good so it's the air sign and then you had the energy of the world and you have the energy vibration of the hangman which is the energy of also the um year so you have hair earth and um water so this is good um for you guys so we're going to be looking I want to say thank you so much to you, Leos. I love you so much. Please like, share these videos. So um, we're calling in on the star beams for the Leos, all the angels and guides and Godinas, Ascendants Masters to come in for the Leos and Moon and Rising to see what is coming out in the year 2019. So the energy of the Empress. So we have the energy of the Tower. We have you victoriously overcoming a situation in your life. You have the energy of temperance, the hurt energy coming in. We have the hermit. We have the moon. So you're going to be seeing your enemies in the third quarter. And you have a lucky, lucky, a lucky, lucky, the fountain. You guys have the fountain. So something lucky is going to be coming out. I don't know what it is but the eye princess is spiritually here the energy of the eye princess is really really coming in 21 12 and you have the Empress okay so um, this is good I'm seeing a lot of uh, people um, a lot of energies for movement is coming in there's a lot of movement that is going to be transpiring in this year okay a lot of movement that is going to be transpiring in this year um a lot of energies where people are going to be seeing their enemies so you have the energy of the fountain and the sun uh the energy of the fountain and the sun now the fountain is one of those bonus cards the fountain is a very very positive card it's like a little luck that is coming in with the energy of the fountain okay so that is wonderful and that is positive because the, the fountain is that your oneness with yourself a moment of cosmic clarity okay fully aware the end of seeking enlightenment being surrendered in that which you are of whole and perfect so the energy of the fountain is just be just be yourself just be yourself that is going to be the motto all things in divine time just be yourself all things come in divine time so this is just going to be so good for you Leah so you know and this is possibly expect um, being at one with yourself um, with yourself all things come in uh, divine time. Okay, so this is this is just so wonderful. This is um perfect. The fountain is the energy of the infinity. Okay. And that is the, the thing with a fountain. It's like 
the no energy it's not the fool it's just uh, the infinity symbol the sun which is good so something very lucky is going to be coming in this is the energy of uh, perform luck that is going to be coming in for you guys so this card is um, a lucky card and this is going to be happening some luck is going to be coming in in October what else is coming up so um, okay so you guys have the energy for the lucky is going to be in your business and in work so there you are so you have number four so this is good you have a lucky successful moment that is going to be coming in so what we have here is these numbers are significance one two and six okay so that is going to be a nine one two and six so there's a lot of ep um, energies that is coming up with a nine which is the energy of the hermit the hermit is going to be coming up in the month of August for you guys your birthday month so it's going to be a month of enlightenment for the extended reading please use the link on on the mom it's good for you guys to pick up this extended reading okay so the energy of the fountain is that some luck is going to be coming in for you guys in this year wheel of fortune and the energy of the luck what is just so weird about you Leos is that normally the energy of the wheel of fortune would come in for you guys um please the third quarter reading is already out please pick up your third quarter readings and work with these energies um for the extra reading please connect with us on on demand third quarter readings are already out listen to the general the the general readings to this year and also um, cross watch to see what is going to be transpiring so the third quarter um, it's not going to be good for you guys um, a month of July to September it's not looking that good and what are we seeing is that there's a lot of um, a lot of energy emotional energy of the tower coming up in your month you have the energy of a spirituality so it's as if the universe wants you to connect with the spirituality but you have the fountain as some luck is going to be coming in for you guys as a central okay number nine is the energy one two six number nine is the energy now the world um wow all right so let's look at this the energy of the here the magician so you um, Leos are either going to be um, telling something let the world be aware of something or information is going to be coming out some breakthroughs about things in the month of January the energy of the magician and the um, judgment call is that something information is going to be coming out about something in the month of January okay it could be something about your work but it could be um, something where something worldwide that is going to be helping you now as we look at this energy vibration we have the energy of the world this is fantastic for the month of February this is an urge energy the eye princess is bringing forward and ending something and aligning you with your spirituality okay the eye princess your spirit guides your star seeds um, however you call them it's going to be aligning you with a perfect and positive energies that are coming in now as we move forward in the month of March we have the energy of the hangman this is the energy of the year now this is the seeking within and the finding your place this is um, relating to the energy of uh, information um, a psychic information information coming out okay so this has to do with the month of March with the wheel of fortune that this energy of the wheel of fortune and the angman energy is going to be bringing you information okay as we move forward we have in the month of April we have the energy of you finding inner strength now inner strength is the infinity and you have um, infinity of abundance is going to come to you because the energy of the Empress is here 
April is going to be a good month okay February and April is going to be a good month in the month of May you have the energy of um, justice and the energy of the tower so something is going to be um, justice true justice something is going to be ending abruptly in your life and this is good because justice comes in to bring balance and you're going to be successful then we have the energy um, in the month of June you have an urge energy and you have a, a positive energy of you moving forward with your own energy vibration in the month of June so this is this is very good this is very positive this is about movement this is about you connecting with your own inner guidance and making decision in your life so as we go back and look at the, the, the second quarter you have the energy of a heart the energy of the tower that is removing the block to your financial abundancy and then you have the energy of the chariot and this is so good and this is so positive because what is happening and what is transpire is that whatever that was blocking you whatever that was blocking your materialistic success this is coming down and it's coming to an end as we look <clears throat> at the third period it's not really one of those positive periods for you guys and the reason for this is that you have the earth energy which is good which is bringing stability but and the energy of the Sun so this July is going to be um, very positive but as we move forward and we look at August your birthday month is about spirituality it's about you um, seeking inner knowledge it's about you moving forward and it's as if um, the stars are going to be lining up for you but it's going to be showing you the way in the form of you choosing your spiritual work okay you choosing um, your divine life purpose and this is what this year your birthday it's good to get a birthday readings and a year reading because with a birthday year readings and a year reading it will actually guides you and give you more information okay the on demands are just a dollar ninety nine so with energy of the on demand they're just a dollar ninety nine so it's good to get a birthday reading because with the energy of the hermit that is coming up for the year 2019 for you guys because you're still in the year 2018 this is teaching you about balancing spirituality in the month of September is the energy of the star and you guys have the energy of this moon energy okay and the energy of the moon because the, the, the general energy of the month of September is the star which is very good that that doesn't come forward um, that is something that really comes forward um, having both two energies and the moon is uh, um, uh, um, surrendering the darkness okay this moon is really surrendering the darkness and this moon is taking to you uh, to a journey to see your shadow side okay this moon is really taking you on a journey to see your shadow side and this the third quarter is not going to be that of a very very positive one for people who are not spiritual and people are not connected with themselves because um, it's going to be taking you deeper in your subconsciousness and um, are you ready for this because it's a 2019 is a year of balancing the material world and the spiritual world are you ready for this but this fountain is bringing you a lot of luck okay with connecting in the unseen world are you ready for this is this what you um, are you know is this the part that you were looking for now looking at the last quarter in the month of October is there the tower the tower and there could be an end with work for some of you um, if you're in a, um, a powerful position if you were use misusing your power there is going to be coming an end to you so be aware of what you have been doing how you have been looking at things because if you have been misusing your power it's going to be coming to an end November a very very positive month the energy in November is the energy of uh, um, and um, the ego of others or the ego of yourself but it's in the general energies and you have the energy of the Sun 
so you could be um, placing um, a light on the ego of others or um, this Sun energy is that you're going to be successful um, with your business or in work you're going to be extremely successful the month of December a water energy is coming up and it's the energy of the eye princess the eye princess and the hermit has been coming up a lot um, in these year reading for 2009 because it's a spiritual year it's a year that is moving you in on a positive spiritual journey so this is um, something that you should know this is something that um, is going to be affecting you okay now we're going to be looking at the cross of these months now in a work um, for you Leos it's all about you using your intuition it's all about you listening to your own intuition guidance from other people outside forces okay success is going to be yours in this year okay success is going to be yours there's no question it's going to be your year um, for you Leos I did say that in the general reading so go back and listen to the general readings because you Leos are one of these signs that is going to be having some success is absolutely joy absolutely joy pure joy um, innovation renewal perfection uh, harmony it's harmony and joy in a light and discovery so it's all about the harmony and joy in a light and discoveries for you guys absolute joy in a light and discovery is going to be um, your energy vibration in this year okay so this is going to be good this is going to be good so expect um, um, absolute um, absolute joy <laughs> absolute joy um, inner light and discovery you know so it's gonna be perfect for you guys yeah well, you know and this is just so fantastic because you guys are the first one that has the energy of the Sun that um, life you know in a light and discovery um, and this is going to be so perform um, for you guys and what is going to be transpiring is that just wonderful positive energies is going to be coming up for you guys as we look at the magician the magician um, um, it's as if you're looking at the people who have been working against you you're looking at your enemies you're finally seeing your enemies you're finally seeing what has been transpiring okay and this is good because it's as if in the month of January you finally received that looking glass that looking glass of seeing people that has been working against you and this is good and the magician came in to give you that in January in February there is a, a situation where you're ending your uh, your third dimensional world and you're going to be beginning uh, you're ending your third dimensional world and you are going to begin in um, your spiritual world your divine purpose the purpose why you're here um, so this is good this is this is, this is a lucky year this is a lucky year okay so um, the energy of the angman is that you're trying to find yourself and you're you're taking it easy you're not pushing it you're taking it one day at a time one step at a time one day at a time one step at a time the Empress is here so your financial situation um, is going to get better um, the energy of the Empress especially people at work um, promotions are going to be coming in you are going to be financial stability um, work is going to doors of opportunity is going to be opening up and this is very wonderful and very positive okay so what we are having here is that the energy of the tower is here now with the energy of the tower what is to inspire is that um, success is going to become 
whatever needs to leave your life in the month of me you need to let it go let it go let it go let it go okay just just let it go it it is a situation where something you need to let go in your life and you just need to turn your back on this thing walk away from it because you need to understand that you can't hold on on something and as you let go whatever this thing is which you are going to be seeing in the general reading to find out what it is that is going to be living your life you're going to be understanding that you know it was the best thing you could have ever do um, in letting this thing go so whatever it was you're going to be realizing that it was the best thing you could ever done to let go of this thing and move on and move away from it so we're going to be seeing what is this situation and we're going to be um, moving away and um, choosing new and better parts in our lives okay so this is good this is extremely good I'm seeing a lot of you sitting planning and wondering what is the best way for um, to go how um, how are you going to make it forward what is the best decision to make um, the energy of the Empress that hurt hurt fire and fire and this is giving you a very good stable balance in the month of the year of 2019 you are going to be having this really stable in your life stability is going to be the name of the game in your life in 2019 third portal is um, you you know being confronted with things um, the unseen world of you being confronted with things that you weren't aware of you're going to be seen beyond the veil of illusions okay you're going to be seen beyond the veil of illusion some of you are going to be returning to spirit in the sense of returning to who you are I'm just seeing something I've never seen in this card and I was drawn so the Leo within you is going to be returning to spirit so um, wow isn't that beautiful so you're going to be um, connecting with the unseen world okay okay so let's see what spirit guides are going to be working with you Leo's in this year what is the spirit guide who wants to come out um, so we have two spirit guides we're working with one in the first six months the first six months is um, is very really positive because you're seeing it's as if you receive the energy of the looking glass and this is good because with the energy of the looking glass you're going to be coming out on top you have the wolf and this is a, a hurt sign this is the energy of the wolf now um, you always have the energy of the um, Leo and the energy of the wolf is coming in as an earth sign to help you and to protect you and to guide you forward so call upon um, all your um, spirit your animal spirit guides and ask them to surround you and protect you okay call upon your all your animal spirit guides uh, uh, invite them in to surround and protect you okay so there each and every person have uh, animal spirit guides okay and this is good all right let's see what else is happening what else is happening